All right. Imagine strapping a steam deck to your face. Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's pretty much what Valve is working on with its long-rumored Deckard XR headset, a fully standalone VR device that could shake up the industry. And if the latest leaks are accurate, we might see it by the end of 2025 with a hefty $1,200 price tag. But here's the kicker: Valve might actually lose money on it. So, what makes this headset so special? Let's break it down. This leak comes from Gabe Follower, a well-known data miner with a solid track record on Valve-related scoops. According to him, Deckard will run a VR-adapted version of SteamOS, meaning you won't need a PC to dive into VR. Think of it as a Steam Deck for your eyes, allowing you to play your favorite games on a massive virtual screen without being tethered to a computer. But that's not all. There's talk of wireless PC VR streaming, eye tracking, and AR pass-through. Features found in high-end headsets like the Apple Vision Pro, and if Valve wants to compete, it needs to deliver top-tier performance. The Vision Pro, for example, has some of the best eye tracking and pass-through in the market, so Deckard has to bring its A game. Oh, and remember that leaked Valve VR controller from late 2024, codenamed Roy. It seems to ditch the usual VR motion controllers for a more traditional gamepad layout. This could mean a stronger focus on flat-screen gaming in VR. A bold move, but one that might help Deckard stand out. Of course, this is still a leak, so take it with a grain of salt. But Gabe Follower has been spot on with Valve leaks before, so there's a real chance this thing is happening. The big question is: Can Valve finally break into the XR market, or will Deckard be another steam machine disaster? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, check out my video on other upcoming VR headsets linked on the screen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on the latest tech news. I'll catch you in the next one.